Hello there! It's time to do a little bit of metal riffing in Linux. So let's jump right on that. Uh, what I have here is Ardor, and I like to use Ardor for recording. You can also use Reaper under under Linux. Um, but yeah, I just like Ardor. What I have here is uh, two lead guitars. They are panned 80% left and 80% right. They have basically exactly the same effect stack, if, except that I have uh, a tuner here. Obviously, keep your guitar in tune when recording. Uh, so I'm just plugging my guitar straight into my audio interface, no amp or anything here, just a uh, pure DI signal basically going to my computer. And uh, I'm recording it as a drive, but I'm applying some effects on that, so I'm applying obviously a tuner here. Uh, so... Yeah, and um, then I have a gate, I have a neural amp monitor that gives the... Uh, uh, gives the amp and uh, also the uh, pedal that's that's captured both in the same. So it's a Helga Behrens uh, 6505 uh, Red Jungle with MXR drive version to capture. And this is my uh, favorite amp capture that I always find myself using over and over again. Uh, with an amp capture, unless it's a full rig capture, then you need to apply impulse response, which is basically uh, emulates the cabinet that you would have after the amp and also the microphone placement in front of the amp so so that's what an impulse response is and uh, for that I'm using guitar hack original between so these are all stuff that you can find for free all over the internet and um, those two together already give a pretty nice decent sound so if I uh, would disable all of those then would be almost the same but I also like to apply a little bit of chorus there and also some reverb and uh, these plugins are from the Guitarix installation so when you have Guitarix installed you get these Codox and uh, reverb plugins and yeah that's uh anyway I have both uh, input monitoring on on both of those guitars that's how it sounds I think that's pretty decent for metal sound and obviously you can tweak that easily. I often have the EQ here as well just so that I can shape the tone a little bit if I if I would want to. Um, so let's record some uh, metal riffing and uh, I always like to use the kill switch engage riff for uh, uh, showing the, the amps and, and sounds and stuff like that so let's let's do that. Good enough. Then let's do the doubling. So always double your guitars. It sounds way more massive like that. Yeah, let's not care about little mishaps there. That's not the point. Not the point of the video. Next, let's do bass. And obviously we want to disable the uh, input monitoring of those and enable the input monitoring for bass. And what I have for the bass is gate. 
a multipan compressor that is taming the low end there a bit and then I have a neural and modular and for that I've loaded the Jason Z Tech 21 DUG DP3X bass preamp pedal or dimed no shift <laughs> so that's uh, one of the captures that I found from the Pelenor 2180s uh, uh, 2180s I think yeah Pelenor's github repo I can put the link down uh, as uh, impulse response I have the guitar hacks original between so the same impulse response that I, what I'm using for the guitar I'm also using that for the bass you can easily mix and match, match those not not the problem for the EQ I've spiked the 2 kilohertz a little bit to get the more metallic tone and otherwise it's just uh, I don't know basic tone shaping I guess I think it sounds pretty decent. Let's record. It's pretty loud, but uh, because we are not seeing any red here, it means that we did not uh, peak, so that's good. So we were just under the peaking limit, so it's good. We can just, you know, maybe lower it a bit if it's too loud. Next, we would do drums, and for the drums, I'm using my uh, trusty drum kit there to use it as a MIDI input device, and I'm just... Uh, I'm having the drum gizmo plugin loaded, for which I've loaded the Multiord kit, and you can download the Multiord kit from the uh, drum gizmo website. A kit created by Lars Multiord, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a very good kit. And uh, I've been learning to do a little bit of drum mixing. I'm definitely not any professional on that, but uh, what I've done is uh, I've been trying to find some ringing to free ringing frequencies here and you know pull those down then i've done uh, quite a lot of compressing of of uh snare and uh and well snare and also the uh kick drum there and uh then i'm using a little bit of uh aux send to send to the uh, uh reverb channel so i'm adding a little bit of reverb reverb on that as well and so on and so on so i think those sound pretty good as well but i'm definitely not far from being a professional on those. Anyway, um, let's record the drums. I'm such a shit playing drums, so I didn't want to even finish that up, but uh, yeah, that's how it sounds, so let's remove the click. Yeah, so that's that's it. That's it. That's how you can make some metal in Linux. Free plugins, free everything. It's not that hard. It's actually pretty pretty nice. See ya.